Hello lovelies, welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and today I will be trying out one of Joan Crawford's secret face mask recipes. So thank you Lily Silk for sponsoring this post and Lily Silk is an online retailer where you can find all kinds of quality silk products such as blouses, pajamas, pillowcases, bedding sets and more. They're all made with millberry silk, which has lots of beauty benefits to the skin and hair. It also absorbs moisture and is very breathable. It's sleep promoting, anti-aging, and wonderfully soft and smooth on your skin. And Lily Silk is also environmentally conscious and zero waste. So there are a lot of benefits of silk in your beauty routine. Besides Silk's luxurious softness and lustrous beauty, there are a variety of benefits that Silk offers that other fabrics, whether natural or artificial, simply cannot match. These advantages of Silk have rightly earned Silk its reputation as the queen of fabrics. And here are some benefits of Silk. It is not just a question of comparison with other fabrics. Some of these benefits and advantages place Silk in a league of its own. And I definitely think Joan Crawford would have a Silk pillowcase or even Silk bed sheets. Silk is a natural heat regulator, able to maintain the air around you at a comfortable temperature, which is great for sleeping. Because I know a lot of people tend to heat up and sweat when they sleep. And extensive sweating is a big contributor to skin aging. The smooth surface of silk means there's little friction between your skin and your bedding linen, which is said to be the biggest cause for sleep wrinkles. And the fact that your hair moves around freely while you sleep, which basically means you will not wake up with a bed full of broken hair and your head hair looking like a mess if you sleep with a silk pillowcase. And I always like to tie my hair up on a bun too when I sleep. Silk is also hypoallergenic, Bugs don't like silk, bacteria don't like silk, or mold doesn't like silk. It's a natural repellent that keeps all the bad things away, all the while helping you in other ways, with the three biggest in-house allergens unable to manifest themselves on your bed. Allergy sufferers can rest and relax knowing that they're safe from skin rashes, eczema, and a stuffy nose. And I always have a tendency to have a stuffy nose. I don't know why. I guess I could say I have allergies, especially during certain seasons, so this would really help me. And it's also soft and lightweight. And Lily Silk is also super durable. Their best quality millberry silk and bedding wear can easily last upward to 15 to 20 years if cared for properly. Silk fibers are one of the strongest natural textile fibers in the world. And Lily Silk is made from especially high quality silk fibers with a denser weave up to 70, 50 threads per inch meaning the resulting fabric can be very strong, able to withstand most accidental damage with ease. So if you want to try Lily Silk for yourself, make sure you use my coupon code linked below in the description box, LJA15, and I'll link that below in the description box. And don't forget to use my coupon code. And so I got this really cute silk scrunchie, which is perfect for putting my hair up at night because it won't tear my hair. And I can put my hair in a nice bun and then I'll sleep on my beautiful silk pillowcases. And I also got these adorable silk pajamas and I really like them because I had a vintage inspired look with kind of the fun bell sleeves and I desperately need new pajamas. So I'm so excited about these ones and they're very comfortable and I think they'll both work for summer and winter and I just feel like an old Hollywood movie star and I feel like these pajamas are perfect for wearing my Joan Crawford face mask. Joan Crawford was a Hollywood film and television actress while she wasn't exactly a pinup queen like Betty Grable, her fierce ambition and strong talent eventually led her to her debut as a chorus girl on Broadway. This was the start of her extensive and impactful career as an American film and television actress. So I have this book called My Way of Life by Joan Crawford and inside this book there's a whole section on beauty and she has a lot of interesting recipes in here for like skincare and face masks and I wanted to try one of them and this one is with an egg and gelatin so I'm really curious about it so I'm going to talk a little bit about some of her beauty tips in the book and then at the end I'm going to make her face mask and test it out so you can see if it works so some of her beauty tips are start with clean skin and she says for removing ordinary street makeup she uses a cleansing cream and I have a set of brushes soft medium and heavy that I plug into an electric outlet so that they vibrate so it sounds like she has like the 
old school vintage version of a Clarisonic. She says they work the cream into the pores and generally stimulate the skin and bringing the blood to the surface. And this is the skin's best nourishment. She says if you don't have a brush that plugs in, that doesn't matter. She says just use elbow grease, which is good exercise for the arms and you'll get the same results. And she also says to treat your neck the same way you do your face. It's a delicate area and the first to betray age. And I actually noticed this myself because I always spend so much time on my face and I always heard people be like, don't forget your chest, don't forget your, your chest. And I kind of put it on the back burner and then I noticed the lighting is really good in my new apartment in the bathroom and I have noticed it a little bit. So I have definitely been putting all my creams on my chest and neck more so than I did when I was younger. And she also says, after showering, I like one of the oldest concoctions in the world, rose water and glycerin. And Joan says she once asked a lady in her 80s how she kept her skin as beautiful and soft as a baby. And she said she used rose water and glycerin. And Jerome Copper says she carries around little tubes of rose water and glycerin to use on her hands every time she washes them. And she says she always works it up to her arms and into her elbows. And that's definitely very important to always moisturize your hands. Joan Collins said the same thing. And Joan Cropper says, women hardly ever look at their own elbows, but other people do. I pay attention to my knees and ankles too. And I always make sure I do that now too and put Nivea on my elbows. And Joan says, all the joints seem to dry out faster than the fleshy parts of the body, which is definitely true. And she also says, a well-known skin specialized patronized by many famous Beauties charges $75 for a 20 minute consultation and $8 for a cake of sea mud soap. And I'm guessing this is Erno Laszlo that she was taking a jab at. And she says, I get more satisfaction and just as much of a benefit of applying a puree of apples and sour cream to my face. So it sounds like Joan Crawford loved to make her own skincare products because I had a difficult time finding out which face cream she actually used and she definitely may have went to Urban Lassel before but it sounds like she didn't want to pay for it. And she says, of course, all masks should cover the neck too, which is very important. And she says, face masks should only be used once or twice a week. And Joan says, while the mask is working, place pads soaked in witch hazel or boric acid over your eyelids and put on your favorite music. And that sounds very relaxing. And I definitely have my tires, Witch Hazel, so I should try that. She says a mask really works only when you're lying down. 20 minutes is the right length of time. Then wash the mask off gently with warm water and follow the brisk splash of cold water to close the pores. And Joan says for a luxurious once a week treatment, give your face a herbal steaming First by putting parsley, dill, or any other favorite herb into a pan of boiling water. And she says mint is also refreshing. Hold a towel over your head to keep the steam rising onto your face. The pores will open so that the mask can do a better job. I've always wanted to try this. I feel like it's a vintage way of giving yourself kind of a facial steam if you don't own a steamer. And here are a few kitchen masks that Joan Crawford suggests. And the first one is mayonnaise. And she says, since I'm never sure what they put into the jars at the supermarket, I make my own. She says she makes it with whole eggs, olive or peanut oil, and lemon juice. She says, omit the salt and pepper. Stir this until it's well blended or whip it up in a batch with an electric blender. So that's one of her face mask recipes. And she also says there's another one with pureed vegetables. And this one is cucumbers, lemons, or lettuce thickened with little baby powder. That's so strange with baby powder. And she also has a pureed fruit one and she says cantaloupe, bananas, or strawberries mixed to a paste with milk, sour cream, or honey. She has a famous old fashioned mixture of oatmeal, warm water, and a little honey blended into a paste. And she also has another one that I really wanna try. I don't know why this one appeals to me. Maybe because there's like less food involved on my face. And she said she would create a blend of unflavored gelatin beaten with witch hazel, baking soda, and a whole egg. And she would let this blend soak on her face for 15 minutes, followed by a cool water rinse. I know Durham Crawford loved ice water rinses. Apparently she splashed her face 25 times every morning with ice water and even ice cubes. And it, she said it was really good for her circulation and to kind of take down puffiness. She also says facial muscles can sag quickly, but there are some easy ways of keeping them toned up. She says each one of the following takes just about 10 seconds. 
and she says you've got that much time. The first one is open your mouth as wide as you can and at the same time pierce your lips as if you're trying to whistle. Hold it for 10 seconds. And the second one is put your thumb and forefinger inside your mouth and try to push your fingers out at the same time, forcing your cheeks in. Hold for another count of 10. So those sound interesting, except I don't really want to put my hands in my mouth to be honest, but I definitely have heard of that kind of piercing one with your mouth open. All right, so let's jump right in and make my Joan Crawford gelatin face mask. All right, so the face mask is a little weird because she doesn't actually say the ingredients, but she says unflavored gelatin. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump that into the mason jar. I'm gonna kind of play it by ear and see how it all goes together. I'm gonna crack the egg. And she wants that all beaten together. And then she wants some witch hazel and I have some tires witch hazel in this beautiful container that I put in here. So I think I first need to add a little bit of baking soda too. So I'm just kind of like whipping it and obviously I don't want to put too much liquid in it because I just don't know like how, what it's gonna turn into. And I think I'm gonna soak it in the fridge overnight too, to really let it like blend together. Cause it's really hard to say like how thick it's gonna get with this gelatin. I've actually never used this gelatin before. So it's really hard to say. I'm basically just beating it all up together. It seems like it's making quite a good little concoction. I just don't want it to be too watery too. So there's a fine line. And then I just kind of add more baking soda. I feel like it's looking pretty good actually. I have a feeling when I kind of let the gelatin sit for a bit overnight, it's gonna be harder, like almost like a jello. I might add a tiny bit more baking soda. It actually smells really good. It smells like roses from my um, toner. So I feel like it's a good little mixture here. So I'm going to put it in the fridge overnight and then tomorrow I'm going to try it on for 15 minutes and see how it goes. And I have a feeling it's going to turn out really well. I mean, it honestly, it smells really good. So I'm kind of excited about this. All right, stay tuned. Good morning, lovely. So I slept in my lily silk pajamas last night with my pillowcase and it was very luxurious and I wore my silk hair scrunchie and I just feel very good. So I really enjoy the pillowcase. So I'm gonna put on the face mask. It kind of smells like roses, so at least it doesn't smell like egg. And I left it in the fridge overnight. So I'm gonna rub it all over my face and leave it on for 15 minutes to try. It's very nice and cold to touch. I'm glad it smells like roses and not like nasty eggs like raw eggs. So I feel like me putting that scented witch hazel really helped. And because she didn't give the measurements, I'm not 100% sure on the consistency, but I feel like it looks like one where you kind of rub and just leave on. So I'm gonna put on my forehead and I think I'll do like 15 minutes. I think that's a good amount leave it on. I definitely made a lot of it. So, got it everywhere. Just trying to make sure it's all rubbed in. I think that's good. And now I'm going to just let it soak back on my lips. And I'll come back and rinse it and I'll let you know what I think. But it feels pretty good. So I'll check back. So it's dried nicely on my skin. I'm gonna get my hands a bit wet and almost treat it like a scrub. Because of the baking soda, it feels like an exfoliating scrub in a good way. So I'm just gonna keep rubbing it in a little bit before I rinse it to get off some of the dead skin cells. So I'm not gonna lie, I think Joan Crawford was right. This feels so good. This skin is so smooth. Wow. I like 
feels incredible. Like I've used a lot of face masks in my lifetime, even expensive ones, and my skin has never felt this good. Wow, it like feels really soft, holy crap. And like, it feels like I exfoliated all the dead skin. My only thing is I did make a lot and I'm worried about shelf life. So I would say make less is more, like mine with that egg. Like, I don't know how long it'll last in the fridge. I'm thinking maybe even just a week. I might try it one more time before I dispose of it, but wow. She has a whole bunch of other recipes, so let me know if you're interested in these type of videos. I would love to try some more. I have some other old Hollywood ones too, so let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!